Hi, we're taking part in the Connolly Count tonight, which is one of the national bat monitoring programme surveys. We're going to give you some tips on how to do it so that you can give it a go at home. To take part in the Connolly Count, you will need to know of a bat roost that you can visit. A great way to look for a roost in your local area is to take part in another MBMP survey, the Sunset Sunrise Survey. You can find out more and hear tips on how to find a roost by watching the Sunset Sunrise video. It's 15 minutes before sunset and it's time to start the survey. We've positioned ourselves just below the roost exit point so that we can see the bats as clearly as possible. Here we should be able to see the bats silhouetted against the sky. It's important not to shine a torch at the roost exit though, as this may disturb the bats. While we're waiting for the first bats to emerge, we'll just fill out a few details on the survey form, like the date, the weather and temperature. Oh, I've just seen the first bat emerge, so I'll take a note of the time. We'll start keeping a tally on a piece of paper, as lots of bats can sometimes get confusing, and this is a much easier way to keep count. Sometimes two or more will come out at once, so do be aware of that, and try your best to count all of the bats. So we've had no bats emerge for the last 10 minutes, so we're going to finish the survey. You can of course stop if the weather gets too bad or if it gets too dark to see. We've had 21 bats so far, and then nothing for 10 minutes, so we're going to note that down on the form. But if you get no bats at all, that's still an extremely valuable record, so please do send the forms in. So if you know of a roost that you can do a count at, why not give the survey a go? It's great fun counting the bats out, and the data collected will help us find out how our bat species are faring.